Thursday, May 29th, and I just am about to finish with my fairing here, the opening to the dagger board case, so that we have a nice minimal opening for little drag it through the water. We're going to be racing this bad boy, and we want her to go fast. Uh, now that I'm done, I can pretty much pull the dagger board out and uh, finish up the last bits before we paint. But the key I just wanted to show you guys real quick is this dagger board is one of the uh, one of my favorite aspects about this boat. With it fully down, it's about six foot draft. Uh, the dagger board itself is about eight feet long. Uh, the top couple of feet stay inside the boat. And uh, there's a case that goes all the way to the top. And uh, so there's no exposure to the inside of the hull to water. It's fully enclosed. Um, when you're in shallow water, you're going to want to take it up and, and, and motor around. When you're in deep water sailing, you're going to have it down so that you can maintain your directional stability through the water. Uh, it's going to be rigged up to a single purchase block, uh, which is down, down here for downhaul. And then uphaul, it's just straight up. Uh, you put it on a winch and you, you crank it up. Uh, I should be able to lift it on my own. It's about 100 pounds. It's pretty heavy. It took me and uh, my brother and my father uh, about an hour to lift it up there on that single purchase block up, up in the rafters here. But uh, once we got it in, it wasn't too bad. So I should be able to oh yeah, never, never do that. That's a bad habit. I should be able to pull it all the way up, though. Let's find out. And there we go. Now, I'll just let her back down, slowly. She's got enough friction on her, it's pretty easy to come down without me getting in too much trouble, but uh, pretty cool. That's my dagger board. We'll see you guys next time.